Minecraft has a lot of blocks, which means gathering resources and getting rich is kind of easy. But what if you only had one block? Oh dear. You see inside of this one block, thousands of blocks. It regenerates forever, giving you better and better items, and I spent 24 hours seeing how rich I could get. It's hour one, and I'm poorer than poor. I have a single dirt block, an egg, and two seeds. But that's all about to change, because big things have small beginnings. Oh, a friend. <laughs> okay, get, get in this pen that I made for you. Congratulations, you officially have more space than me. Stuart. Okay, now we have a grass block here and we're gonna need more grass blocks, which means I have to wait for it to grow onto this one. So my plan is to stare at it until it submits. Wait, wait, that actually worked. Subscribe, subscribe right now. Do you feel the intimidation of my stare? Okay, so gravel falls down. Aha! Okay, Stuart, if I, if I die, you can keep all the dirt and seeds. Okay, this works. What's this? A chest with hearts coming out of it. What treasures await me? Oh. <laughs> eh, I'll take it. Stuart, we're upgrading. Stuart, so we reached phase one, the planes, and we're introduced to a few more side characters. But we don't have time for introductions because we're on a mission. And our first major goal is to get through all of these phases as quick as possible. Glory and riches await. Okay, we're already on phase two. All right, I got a, I got a plan. Okay, we've got a pit. So now I can push anything that wants to hurt me into the pit. Ah, okay, this may not be as, as effective as I thought it would be. Why can I hear Mark dying? Nah, the, <laughs> the tree suffocated him. But no matter, because now we have an infinite food source. Anyway, the pit was working perfectly and had absolutely no flaws whatsoever. Then I built a small mob farm, which also had absolutely no flaws whatsoever. But it was working. It was working, though. Now I just sleep. I just wait for them to burn, knock off any creepers, and collect the glorious loot. Sorry, but anything that falls into the pit must die. Those are the rules. Okay, careful. Yeah, no. Steady. Steady. Ste yeah. Ha. Huh. Okay. I think we're at the end of phase two, and we have a map. And our island is looking <laughs> great. Okay, we're on phase three already. It's time to extend. Aha! A dog. Now, listen, I know I don't have the best history of looking after dogs, but I'll make an exception for you, as long as you help me. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Uh, no. No, that's my block. And if I can't have it, no one can. Ah, polar bear. What can you do for me? Not much now, apparently. Oh, wait, the polar bear doesn't like these guys, does he? No, he doesn't like these guys. No, he really hates them. Yeah, go go pit there. And then the first monster party started, but they stood no chance against the power of the pit. And just like that, we were on to phase four. Okay, now with our mob farm, we have plenty of bones to grow the farm with, which means we can probably extend the pen. Bigger pen equals more... Okay, bigger pen equals more animals and more food. There we are. Okay, hopefully in this phase we'll start to get some good stuff. Yeah, there we go. Our first diamond and our first squid. This is taking an awkward amount of time for you to die. Anyway, after a while, it was starting to get pretty crazy in the pit. Oh no, I fell in the pit. I fell in the pit. I don't even think you can fit in the pit. Okay, so the, these guys are, are immune to the pit. We're gonna have to try and hit them into the void. Okay, he just willingly volunteered to jump off into nothing. Okay, that really works for me. Another monster party fallen victim to the pit. Okay, I think it's just this guy left. Sorry, turtles. I'm really, I'm really sorry about this. And that's the end of stage four. Man, we're on a roll. Okay, let's just come over here and start to build some sort of storage area. Oh. Some birds. Here, no, take some seeds. No, we can no, be friends. No, no, no seriously, no, take some no, seeds. No, no. All right, let's try this guy. Two. Two seeds. What's no, wrong with no, this guy? No, 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 no. Finally. Okay, that was worth it. Anyway, phase five was pretty rough. It can be summed up by getting attacked by Vex, making armor to survive getting attacked by Vex, getting attacked by Vex again, cowardly Ooh, running and hiding, like getting poisoned, cowardly running and hiding again, getting poisoned. Anyway, this continued for a while until we were finally finished and into phase six, the desert phase. I was instantly greeted by diamonds, and I had a feeling things were going to start looking up for me. I was wrong. Eric, give me one good reason why I shouldn't push you in this pit right now. Oh, wait, no, I need Eric. Eric, wait there. Wait there. All oh, right, you're already in here. Okay. Eric, you realize you just imprisoned yourself. There we are. We've got another bed. Now we just have to wait for another Eric. Owen, what have you got for me? Ah, I see. Nothing. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't push you in this pit. I push everyone else in the pit. These donkeys, gone. And you could be next, Owen. Just keep that in mind. What are you doing over there, anyway? I, I swear, if you trample on my... Cr if you... <laughs> Okay, let's upgrade our tools. Ah, okay, another villager. Now we just imprison this one as well. And he voluntarily imprisoned himself. Brilliant. This is what I do with most of my time. I just spend it hitting things into a pit. Yep, you're going in the pit. Man, another phase down. We are good at this. I mean, sure, we may still be completely broke, but we're good at getting through phases. Okie dokie, eat up, eat up. I'm going to need a lot more Eric's or, or Ian or whatever your name is. Okay, I'm going to take this down because I feel like we can make something better. I feel like as soon as I take this down, Ian's going to fall in. And there he is. Ian. You brought this on yourself. R.I.P. Ian. 
Oh, no. Now Owen's in there. Well, that's what you get for standing on my crops, Owen. Bet you regret that now. Okay, this isn't going to look very good, but we're trying to get rich, okay? We don't have time for building. Aha! Our first ancient debris. We're starting to get some good loot. Okay, eat up. Eat up. And you, eat up. Oh, oh dear. I'm not sure he's going to fit in the pit. Okay, he fit in the pit. Okay, he's, he's causing some disturbance in the pit. Every now and then, I just see a donkey fly out of the pit. I'm so sorry about this. It, it is quite funny, though. I'm really sorry about this donkey. Oh, we got a chest. Yes, lava bucket. Because this now means we can make a cobblestone generator. That should work. Yes. Now we just we just do this for a while. All right, we got enough cobblestone to continue building for a while. Then we'll plant some trees in the corners. Okay, it doesn't look very pretty right now, but at least we got some more land. And we can extend the villager house and throw them more food. Aha, there's an iron golem in the pit. Pit golem. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to take advantage of you. Yeah, pit golem is definitely the way to go. Imagine we had like 20 pit golems in there. They'd stand no chance. Uh, how did you escape? How did you escape the prison? Okay, I think there are too many villagers in there now. They're, they're starting to escape. But this is good. We can use this. Because now we can make an iron farm. Okay, I need some water. And the only way to get water right now is to... Uh, kind of suffocate this fish. Um, it's kind of awkward just watching him die like that. Ah, this is sad. Any moment now. <laughs> Any moment now. There we go. There we go. Ooh. Okay, then we just place a boat here, and then we trick one of these guys into thinking that he's got freedom. Yeah, that's it. You're free. <laughs> freedom is an illusion. Okay, if you could just get into this boat, that... Okay, he actually did just get into that boat. That worked so well. Okay, now we just need to wait for this other one to come up and go in the boat. Why are you looking down? Don't... Oh, there's no way you just did that. Why would you do that? Okay, good job there's... Get out of here. <laughs> good job there's this little uh, escape hatch that I've got. Okay, and then we just push them in. Freedom is an illusion. Traps. There we go. Then we throw food. Wait for more villagers. Then iron golems will start spawning. And then we collect the iron. Easy. Okay, I think we're near the end of this phase now. And there we go. There we go. We got some good stuff. Lava bucket. Netherite scrap. Nice. And we had now reached phase eight. Idle. A breeze of peace blows across the land. Okay, and that should be the iron farm finished. Uh, okay, well, they're spawning, but they're not spawning in the right place. No. Bad golem. Okay, yeah, that works. They're burning. Yay. Now that we've got some more space upstairs, we can relocate the tree farm and use this area to build a bigger villager house. And there we are. It's not much, but it'll breed villagers. In the meantime, let's build a better animal pen. Yeah, that circle works. That's a nice circle. Okay, you don't get given much dirt in Skyblock, so we're going to have to kind of ration this. So if we put one grass block in the middle, that should spread. I fill the gaps with wood so that we're not using so much dirt. Okay, that should work. Now the grass will spread and then the sheep can eat. Okay, now let's do another circle over here. And this can be the crop farm. Animal farm. Crop farm. That works. Yeah, this is looking good. Okay, animals, come. Your new home is ready for you. But not all of you. Stop. Stop. Just a few of you. Okay, there we go. They're eating, which means we've now got a consistent supply of wool that we can use to build more villager beds. Okay, let's extend this area out here, which will give us one more circle. Just like that. Okay, we got a good amount of iron from our iron farm already. And speaking of farms, we need to make a better XP farm. That's it. Breed away. <laughs> okay, with the amount of wood that this XP farm's taking, I'm having to turn the entire island into a tree farm. Okay, there we are. That should work. I did mess it up over here, but it still should work. Yep, that works. These villagers have more potatoes than they know what to do with. And I want more villagers than I know what to do with. We're going to need more beds, Eric. Okay, it's been a while. Let's check our iron again. Nice. That's a good amount of iron. Well worth all the deaths. And then I saw one single skeleton that had spawned on the island. And that's when I decided that I would spend all the iron we had collected thus far on an army of iron golems. And they all fell in the pit. It's been three minutes. How are you in the pit? Okay, we need to come up with some sort of design that means they can't fall in there. All right, let's see if that works. In the meantime, let's build another iron farm. Okay, now hopefully these guys can't fall in. Oh, don't, don't mind that. That's nothing. That's not, uh, that's not one of your kind burning to death. Don't worry about it. Okay, we just need some willing volunteer. Volunteer. Okay, here we are. Just get into this boat. Brilliant. And there we are. Oh, oh, your mate's here. Well, that works out. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm, so I'm guessing this doesn't work. Yeah, no, this doesn't. And they're falling down here. I think I need to make some upgrades. 
Okay, we'll see if this works. I mean, surely they can't get through that. Not even I can get through that. Okay, I think we're safe to make some more. I think so. Okay, let's get back to it. Oh no, my biggest foes yet. Bees. Okay, I take that comment back. These guys are actually pretty hard. Okay, I guess they can still get in somehow. How how can they get in? Okay, there, there must be a way around this. Maybe I can try growing bamboo. Okay, I'm pretty sure if, if we if we keep growing this bamboo, they won't be able to get through. But it does look absolutely terrible. Okay, I didn't want to fully commit to walls, but I'm gonna have to fully commit to walls. Okay, I see how they're doing it. They're coming out over here, and then they can just walk straight up and in. Okay, so if we extend this out like that, then they shouldn't be able to get in, right? You know, this, this should work because they can't jump. So that should work. Yeah, I think this is good. They haven't got in so far. Hang on a second. I just saw him climb up on that wall. Ah, get off the wall. How did, how did he do that? How, 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 how did you do that? Fine. You're going to make me put walls. I'll put walls. Hey, this actually works pretty well. Man, maybe maybe walls were the way to go the whole time. Let's see how long this guy lasts. Yep, that was two seconds. I mean, this is just not even fair anymore. I've broken Skyblock. I just kick these guys off into the meat grinder. Okay, you know what? This is, this is making my life too easy. Let's upgrade the meat grinder. That's it. Everyone get out. Everyone get out of the pit. And we'll make some bridges. Okay, so now they're free to walk around. But then as soon as anything spawns, they all come down and activate the meat grinder. Enough is never enough. Okay, and finally, that's the end of phase nine, which means this is the final phase, the end. And we're going straight in. We're not wasting any time. Okay, so my plan with the villagers is to leave them without jobs for so long so that when I actually do give them jobs, they'll sell me all their emeralds. It's genius. Okay, I'm going to start mixing up the blocks because there's too much cobblestone. And speaking of cobblestone, we need more of it. Then we can smelt this up and make some stone bricks. Okay, let's try and make another level to this island. We make a staircase here. And then we can bring it around here. Okay, while I'm building, I'm going to make a stick farm. And then this can be going the entire time we're building, collecting sticks. And then we can sell those sticks to the villagers for emeralds. Oh dear. So then this should work. Yes, that works. And then we've got this minecart that collects all of the bamboo. And then it puts it into these chests. And then from the bamboo, we can make sticks. Yes, like this. Brilliant. Okay, let's continue. We're going to make a circle that goes all the way around. Kind of messed it up a little bit, but there we go. There's half a circle. Now let's do the other half. Okay, now these iron farms are in the way of the circle. So we're going to have to deconstruct them. And there we go, one giant circle. This is going to take a long time to fill in. And this farm no longer works either, so we might as well let you guys out. Okay, wow, that took a long time. That is a giant circle. So now all that's left to do is build a wall going all the way around. And there we go. We're now completely contained on our giant circle. We just add some walls around the farm so that nothing drops in and plant some trees. And I need to add some wood. There's just too much stone. There's stone everywhere. Okay, so everything's looking a bit plain right now, but I don't even have a base. This is my base. It, listen, this video is not called I spent 24 hours building the best house possible, okay? All right, let's take the iron farms down because I've got a better idea. Okay, I'm going to see if this works. I'm going to I'm going to attempt to build an iron golem Bertha is going to birth iron golems. We're going to bring it up here. Okay, so we're going to build the iron farm as normal, but with a slight twist at the end. Okay, one thing I didn't think about. I don't know how I'm going to get the villagers up there. I'm going to have to somehow get them to climb that. Okay, here's the plan. Two boats there. Now we open the floodgates. Yeah, look, you're free to go. Everyone, leave. You're free. Yeah, look, Eric, it's it's freedom. Okay, now we make two fletching tables and place them here. And then the villagers go, oh, oh, I sense, I sense job opportunities up here. But then they get trapped by the boats before they can reach their opportunities. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, now we trap them in. Now we let them out of the boats, and the only way is up. No, the only the only way is up. Stop trying to escape. You can't escape. The, the only option for you is up. No. What are you doing? Okay, this may be a little bit more tricky than I thought. Okay, if we place the fletching tables up here instead, then we really trap them this time. Now we let them go, and then they go, hang on a second, I can sense employment up here. And then they come up, they get their jobs, and now they're trapped. Man, I'm smart. No. No. Okay, it's turning nighttime now, so they should go to bed. Yes, yes. There we are, trapped. Now we feed them, and then once five villagers have spawned, iron golems should start spawning. So now we're going to put the water here as normal, but then we're not going to put any lava, and then they should just spawn and fall off onto the island. Okay, so if we make a pool down here for them to fall into, then they shouldn't have any fall damage. In the meantime, let's build a portal. 
and grab some shroom lights because we're gonna need to light up the island. We can start here and just start placing them everywhere. Okay, they're, they're spawning, but they're staying up here. Okay, so what if I remove this? Does that push him off? I think so. Okay, I think it's fixed. Yeah, that's fixed. He's down. And moment of truth. Yep, that works. Got a golem spawner. Now we can get rid of all the torches because we are done. Now, what's better than a golem spawner? Two golem spawners. That's right, we're making another one. So I'm gonna need some of these beds. Sorry, villagers, you're sleeping on the floor tonight. Actually, I'm, I'm gonna let them out. They should be safe now with all the lights. And I'll place all their beds out here. Okay, yes, yes, follow me, follow me. Okay, so it's been a couple hours. Was that worth the time it took? Probably not. Okay, there we go, we got another spawner. All right, let's test our security system. Yep, that's pretty good, that works. Wow, there are a lot of you already. Oh, okay, so we got the end portal down there. Thanks for destroying my building. Okay, so if we place these and then actually make the portal like that, then we can come in here and fill in this, which now means the only way to get in is to crouch and go under. So that's pretty safe. Yes, yes, welcome to the world, my friend. All right, you know what? We're just going to do this now. We're just going to go straight in for it. Here we are. Oh, good thing I brought a bucket. I probably should have brought more armor, not going to lie. And there we go. I should not have survived that on any level. I'm going to test my luck again. Aim. I reckon it's right there. It was not there. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to build up. I'm going to build up to it. There we go. Okay, we're here to get Elytra. Okay, we've actually found three in one spot with two boats. Since I've only got shoes and some trousers, uh, we're going to skip all of this. We're going to go straight up. Honestly, at this point, I'll take them. Ooh. And we've already got some mending boots. Nice. Okay, now we can fly on over to the next boat. Yes, yes. Nice to meet you, I'm sure. Nice. More armor. Okay, now we just got to find a portal out of here. Aha. Pidoki, let's get out of here. Oh, that, that is a lot of iron golems. Okay, cool. Now we can make a shulker box, which will come in handy. And let's make an enchantment table while we're here. And we're going to need a little bit more leather for the books. So while we're breeding the cows, we'll also feed the villagers and place more beds. Aha, is this the end? I think this may be the end. Okay, yeah, that's it. We're now in the after phases, which means we've completed all the phases. So now it's just an infinite block. All right, let's make some fletching tables. Now we can take all of the bamboo that we've collected, which is not very much, considering the amount of time that this took to build. Now we can trade them all for emeralds. There we are, there we are. Yes, 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 give me them. Okay, now we should have enough cows for the leather. Let's make our enchantment room. We'll stick it there. And the first thing I'm going to enchant is actually my axe, because we're going to need to do a lot of chopping. So hopefully we get a good enchantment. I'm breaking three... Yeah, yeah, that's good. Oh, that's much quicker. Now we can turn these into sticks and trade with the villagers. Now the goal from here is to get a full diamond set. And the only real way to do that in one block sky block is to trade a full set with the villagers. Which means first, we have to upgrade the villagers, which is going to cost a lot of emeralds. So let's just come in here and place a whole load of fletching tables. Okay, so you're just suffocating in a tree. So I think I need to break this. I think they're trying to get down. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now they should all turn into fletchers. Brilliant. It's trading time. All right, we've got a couple of stacks of emeralds now. So if we make a blast furnace, and then pop him there. Hopefully this guy is going to turn into an armorer, please. Yes, there we go. Armorer. Okay, now this is this is the part that sucks. We have we have to buy a load of iron helmets that we don't need. But after a while, you get some diamond gear. So let's buy some more of these and upgrade him. Now we have all of this. One more should do it. Now he should upgrade to a master. There we go. And there we are. Full set. Brilliant. Yes. Yes, brilliant. Everything's going so well for me. It is kind of funny though. I am going to leave it because there are just too many of you around here anyway. This is just getting ridiculous. Now I'm just deliberately trapping them. There are just too many of them. There too many of you. There are just way too many. How, how long have I been chopping trees for? Okay, now to get our diamond tools, we need to place that there and hopefully a villager will come along like you. Yes, take it. Take the job. There's no way you're not going to take that job. Why are there so many children in my farm? Hang on a second. Okay, I think I know what's going on. They're getting through the gaps as kids and then they're growing up in there. This is not okay. I need you all working. Okay, it's nighttime and the beds are up here. So if I open this up, they should all come up to the beds, right? Yep, there we go. Yeah, that, that works. They're all completely sleep deprived. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Now we've got so many Fletchers. All right, I, I actually can't see anything now. I can't see anything. Yes, finally, someone took the job. So now we can keep upgrading this guy. Why, why are you doing this? Why? Hang on a second. What? Don't do this. Don't. Why would you do that? <laughs> why? Why would you do this? This this benefits no one. Oh, I've got a good idea. How about we all just trap ourselves in the in the farm over here? Yeah, that makes sense. That's a good idea. Okay, let's just forget about that for a bit. Let's upgrade this guy. And we got a diamond axe already. Now, if we just buy a load of these, he should then be a master. This is just getting out of hand now. Okay, there we go. Now we can buy a sword. So we can combine all the leggings that we have to make a protection four. <laughs> Then we can disenchant the swords and try and get something good, which 
we don't have. So we'll go for the cheapest and just rinse and repeat and just do this until we've got a good sword. Okay, sharpness three. That's that's pretty good. Another sharpness three. Okay, now we can add these together. And then we, and then we add these and okay, we're so done. Oh, okay, first I try. That was easy. That was easy. That was easy. Yeah, and then we add three, these. Three. And anyway, to cut a long story short, I kept doing this until I had some good stuff. Oh, look at all this good stuff. Now we just need some mending books. Okay, so let's make a few lecterns and we'll come over here and make a little room. And then hopefully someone comes and... Yeah, there we go. Yes, my friend. Yes, come in here. Yes, brilliant. Okay. Okay, this isn't exactly working. All right, let's try again. What? How come you've got mending now? All I did was go to sleep. Eh, I'll take it. Okay, now we just need a couple more emeralds to buy the rest. Okay, I've got the emeralds. Where is he? Where is he? This is the fun part, trying to find... Okay, here you all are. Is he in there? Yes, there he is. I see, I see you. Okay, let's buy the last few. And there we go. Everything's got mending. Now we just need netherite. Oh, it never ends. Okay, so we can make two from the stuff that we already had. So let's put it on our pickaxe and our sword. And let's make some fireworks. I don't know why I haven't made them. That is just a ridiculous amount of iron golem. Okie dokie, let's get this ancient debris. This is my preferred method of finding ancient debris. And there we go. How do I look, villager? Be honest with me. How do I look? Now there's just one thing left to do. Be right back. I'll be right back. Okay, so we got one with a skull. We just need two more. And I think, yes, here we go. There's one and there's two. Okay, now I just need to find a place where I can do this. So I think if we come down here. Okay, well, good job I had that on. Now, when I say find a place where I can do this, what I really mean is find a place where the iron golems can do this. Because if there's one thing that rich people are good at, it's getting other people to do things for them. And I am now a certified rich man. Okay, we've built the arena. Now we just need to build a bridge to connect the two. Now I'm going to make a path above. And then we get a load of these guys to follow. And then... Okay, that, that did not work. I'm trying to get the golems to follow him. Okay, that's working. Yeah, they're following. They're following. Okay, now I just have to bring this guy over here. And then hopefully, yeah. Yeah, they're all following. Brilliant. Um, yeah, okay, this is not working as well as I thought it would. Um, I mean, that's that's just unfair. That is just unfair. Okay, the only issue is the golems will eventually just return to the villagers. So we're going to have to rethink this. Okay, I've rethinked this. We're just going to do it here. Here we go. <laughs> oh, this guy stands no chance. Look how fast his life is going. I mean, this is just not even fair. This is just not, this is not even fair. Th that was not even a challenge. He's gone. He's gone. I don't even think one iron boy died. Okay, where's the star? Where's the star? Gotta be in here somewhere, right? Gotta be, who's got the star? Another star. There we go. All right, so now we can make a beacon. Okay, I'm sorry, but there are, there are just too many of you. There are, there are just way too many of you. I'm gonna have to stop production for a while. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys, but there, I just, I can't see anything. Yeah, that's it. That just... Just fall down in, into that. Yeah. Okay, we got one hour left. And we're going to use that time to get a beacon. Because what kind of rich man doesn't have a beacon? A poor rich man, that's what. But we're going to have to be pretty quick about this. I don't even know if it's possible to do in an hour. Well, better start chopping. <laughs> Oops, sorry about that. Oh, sorry. Ah, <laughs> sorry about that. But hurry up. I've only got 20 minutes left. Hurry up. But we, we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, I, I, I think that's enough. And boom, we did it. Did, did we do it? Do it? Yes, we did do it. Bro, get out of my shot. I'm trying to... So there we are. 24 hours getting rich on one single block. Now, many a block. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And thanks again to Opera GX. Listen, have you downloaded it already? Why are you using inferior browsers? Why would you do that? Why? It's just embarrassing. I'm kidding. Anyways, catch you in the next one. Goodbye.